In the world of Pokemon, battles have always been intense clashes of strategy and skill. But there was a time when a fundamental change transformed the landscape of Pokemon battling forever. Welcome, trainers. Today, we delve into a crucial evolution in Pokemon battling history, the physical special split. Previously, in the early days of Pokemon, moves were categorized as either physical or special based on their type. For example, any ghost-type move was always physical while every water move was always special. An easy way to memorize which types were which is to think about the evolutions of Eevee. It just so happens that almost every special type has a corresponding Eevee evolution, with the exception of Dragon. Pre-split, this mechanic was actually a benefit to Pokémon, such as Alakazam, who could take advantage of special moves such as the Elemental Punches, whereas Pokémon like Hitmonchan could not take advantage of these moves with its poor special attack stat. But then, in the fourth generation of Pokémon games, Diamond and Pearl, everything changed. Game Freak introduced a revolutionary concept, the Physical Special Split. This split categorized moves based on their individual properties, rather than their types. Take for example the move Thunder Punch. It was previously considered a special move because it's an electric type attack. However, with the split, its classification shifted to physical, aligning with its direct physical nature. This change opened up a whole new world of possibilities for trainers. Pokemon that were once limited by their stats could now utilize a wider range of moves effectively. Trainers had to adapt their strategies accordingly, considering both the type and the individual properties of moves. It wasn't just a change in mechanics, it was a shift in the very essence of battling, a testament to the ever-evolving nature of Pokemon. Pokemon with unbalanced stats could now be more effectively utilized in battles. For instance, Pokemon with high attack but low special attack such as Gyarados could now utilize physical water moves like Waterfall or Aqua Tail to make better use of their strengths. This increased viability diversified the competitive landscape and allowed for more creative team compositions. While this is widely considered to be a healthy change, there are Pokémon that both benefit and were hindered by the change. This is largely because of Pokémon's same type attack bonus or stab for short. When a Pokémon's typing and move type are the same, the power of the move is increased by 50%. A popular Pokémon that was actually hurt by the change is Skeptile. Skeptile has higher base special attack than attack, which was advantageous in the pre-split era when all of its grass-type moves were special, including its signature move Leaf Blade. This Pokémon also lost viability in Thunder Punch, one of its best coverage moves. Despite this, some Pokémon became much more viable post-split, including many dark types. One of the clearest examples is Crawdont. This Pokémon has great physical stats, however, both of its water and dark stab typings were previously special. When the physical special split occurred, Crawdont became much more viable and is still a very strong Pokémon today, utilizing strategies such as Trick Room and Dragon Dance sweeps. Overall, the Pokémon physical special split was impactful because it fundamentally changed the way battles were approached, fostering a more dynamic and strategic gameplay experience for trainers across the Pokémon world. Do you think that the physical special split was healthy for Pokémon as a whole? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.